day I photographed Wayne Kramer's guitar was a cool day. I uh, pulled up, parked, carried my gear up the stairs. His beautiful wife, Margaret, met me at the door, so friendly. And uh, Wayne was doing an interview at the time, but she still escorted me into his sound room. I was laying down my stuff. He was on the phone. Get ready. He's off the phone. We start talking. I shoot his guitar. He's got a... Uh, it was a Fender, Stars and Stripes, but brand new, you know? It was this new signature guitar. So I, I but it's distressed, you know? As I can see, it's like, you know, a distressed guitar, it's like a reissue, so I'm like, hey, Wayne, what happened to the original? But I realized that, and uh, suddenly, you know, we're in a sound room, it's so quiet, like you could hear a pin drop in there. And I was like looking at him, go, what, what happened to the original? And he's like, it went up a hole in my arm. And when he said that, it really took me back. I wasn't expecting that. And uh, but then I was just like, whoa, you know, that was very real. And uh, uh, talk about redemption, you know. He, uh, Billy Bragg founded Jail Guitar Doors in the UK uh, as a, a charity to raise money for minimum security prisoners to help them rehabilitate themselves through the guitar, based on the Clash song, Jail Guitar Doors, written about Wayne Kramer's incarceration. And uh, Wayne founded the USA version of Jail Guitar Doors, and uh, very worthy cause, and I'm very happy I have the Stars and Stripes in this book.